Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. A treat especial. We are pulling apart this Sawzall, old school Sawzall, and hell of a problem. Back bearing, damaged, needed to get it out. Blind bearing race, stuck in there, but good. So I'm going to share a trick with you for to blow the top of your head clean off. Having a look at that back bearing. Yes, it's huge, oh. Yes, it's shielded. Unfortunately, it's also hoopa juped. Got a real nasty detent in there. So the balls either sat for a long time and corroded against the race, or it's just plain worn out. But it doesn't feel worn out. It's not loosey goosey in there. So, uh, well, we got our A part. We'll change it. The good thing is bearings are just commodity items. You know, you buy a reputable brand and you're going to be okay. You just get the number off it and buy, you know, whatever fits in the hole and you're going to be good to go. Pulling out all the oddball gear today. It's a pilot bearing puller for the clutch pilot bearings. You know, the bearing that goes in the uh, flywheel on your automobile. You got to pull that clutch out. Now, I mean, you probably just throw the whole car away. But uh, that's, that's what that's for and that would do the trick only this, yeah. No. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe might fit in there. I doubt it. No, how the, weird. Okay, no, not gonna work, okay. So we'll try the old happy hooker here. See if we can get under, no. Might need to make a special tool to get at that. So, the first chink in the armor serviceability on that back bearing no fucking good at all unfortunately so what uh my years of percussive maintenance experience tell me that is not going to work so we got to get in there with a tool and a, a protocol dictates that we start with the jankiest tool spend all fucking day pulling our hair out until we have a super skookum tool especially just for that one function that will sit in your toolbox for the rest of your life and never get used, but rules. Nobody panic, it's gonna be okay. Ah, hot knives. If only I could recall my misspent youth. There we go, Alex Steele, eat your heart out, buddy. Oh! Too long in the poking bit end. That's okay. That's okay. Wait a second. Oh, fuck that. We'll just grind off the excess. Duh. He brought me food when I couldn't move at 45 below zero. And the reason Hartwell did survive. The boy had died a hero. Okay. Oh, pulling the fucking handle off. Come on, master crap. Get in the fucking game. Ah. Callously and heartlessly disparaging Master Crap. It's a Cambodian tire house brand. It was actually the fault of the Crapsman. Smears Crapsman. My mistake. Sorry, Master Crap. You deserve it, though. Okay, jankiness level two. Huh? Huh? Where are you? Ah. I thought it'd come. Okay, wait, wait. Let's revisit this guy. Okay, so that will fit. Well, it'll only fit up until that stiffener. Yeah, I won't go deep enough. Man, oh man. I think there's nothing for it but to build a proper tool. Come again? What's that you say? Oh, that's not a bad idea. When in doubt, whip it out. A little bit of the old heat and beat. Fat. Well, that clearly ain't working. I guess we're fucked. Might as well just give up, right? Wrong! Took me a while, but the synchros finally got the gear up to speed enough to mesh. Have I got a fucking trick for you? It's gonna blow your mind. A little of the old shop arts and crafts. Wait, what? Not to worry. I'll feed you baby birds. Decades old grease. 
try and pack as much in the hole as you can. I got a shaft a little bit smaller than the ID of the bearing. It happens to be a drill bit. Yeah, that'll work. Put some more grease in there. We get a gob to better the job. Now we take our little strips and jam them in the hole. Come on. Ah. Come on. There we go. Come on, you motherfucker. Chooch. Yeah. You see that, eh? You see that? If and you didn't. Keep watching. Keep watching. Handy little trick here. If you're not sure something's a moving, just grab your Sharpie, get right down into the root of her, and then you can be sure if it's moving or if it's not, because you'll see the bare spot. Now a little etiquette lesson for the clipboard warrior types. You might be called upon to watch. In which case you'll hear something like, I can't see it, is it moving? To which the only correct response is, oh fuck yeah, keep her coming buddy. Now you get tired of that missionary position, feeding it in, laying down. You can always ball it up, try from a new direction. We're just about out there now, boys. Fuck. Yeah! We're just whipping out for the back of the class in case you didn't catch that. Hey? <laughs> That's the seventh damn black belt shit there. That trick cost me a good bottle of scotch, but fucking well worth it, partner. Your mind blown? I, I know when I first saw this, my mind was fucking blown. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. Quite literally, skookum as frig. Speaking of, I got a t-shirt over on teespring.com if you're interested in once in a while covering your manly parts over the summer. This'll do it for you. Then a shitty situation with the old t-shirts are good depending on how you look at it. If and you want an old t-shirt, they're back. Initially, I got a, a chuckle out of guys uh, freebooting the design and selling it. You know, no, no skin off my ass. It's a whatever. So they sell a few t-shirts on. I, I'm kind of of the mind, like make something cool yourself and, and put it online rather than steal somebody else's stuff and put it online. But, you know, but sincerest form of flattery and so forth i kind of got a i got a chuckle out of it but here's the thing i didn't think much of it until i started getting emails guys pissed off that they're getting ripped off the t-shirts not sent or so uh, yeah yeah so it took a few emails but what yeah i have to put the old t-shirts back up so that guys who are desperate to buy an older t-shirt don't get ripped off so there you go if you want to buy an old t-shirt it's there and uh or if you you want to go to a freebooter give her partner but uh, don't come crying to me <laughs> okay so the old t-shirts are back and the new t-shirts a skookum is freak thanks for watching